Here's one that will be interesting because it's something that me and Nicole Ali talked about maybe two, three months ago. And I've shown this before about the artificial womb. And uh, shout out to Nicole Ali. You should go to her channel. I'll put her channel in the description. She actually confirmed that this is actually a thing because she says she has, she, she says she's actually seen this. She's seen the artificial womb. But uh, this article is Will Grow Babies in Artificial Wombs in a Decade. In coming years, scientists plan to grow human embryos in a lab using high tech artificial wombs. Doctors at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia are in talks with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA to begin testing artificial wombs on human embryos within the next two years, according to Metro. If they're successful, the research could radically change the way we view pregnancy, birth, and perhaps even human evolution. The 10-year plan. If those clinical trials go well, fully functional artificial wombs could be ready within 10 years, Yale University physician Carlo Buletti told Vice last year. Ten years is a long way off as far as medical research is concerned, but if artificial wombs are safe and effective, they could help prevent many of the medical complications that can arise during pregnancy and childbirth per metro without compromising the mother and child's capacity to bond with each other. If the fetus were in an artificial womb, it would be possible to access and control the environment without restricting a woman's autonomy. University of Oslo philosopher Anna Samdador told Metro. So in some ways there could be there could actually be benefits for the fetus itself. So they're getting pretty bold about this. This is not something that um, is speculative anymore. Uh, I think Nicole told me that once the World Economic Forum announces it, it's pretty much a done deal. In other words, the science is already done and there's money behind it. Normally hear rumors when the in the professional journals when the basic science is viable, but when it's actually the engineering is actually done in the World Economic Forum, which they announced actually showed this stuff about three, four years ago. They actually showed it. So that meant there's some money behind it. And once there's money behind it, then this stuff will show up within 10 to 15 years or less, depending on the technology. So I'm thinking less. If they're already doing clinic, getting ready to do clinical trials, then this should show up within five years. So I was being conservative when I said 10 to 15, maybe 20, but it looks like five. And if Europe is having problems having babies, this is where they're going to start growing their babies at. They can start growing their babies in artificial wombs to actually bypass the weakness of um, viable sperm and also viable wombs. So I don't really know what to say about this. This is faster than I thought. But I always say that whatever they announce, as far as a time scale, cut it in half because they were saying 30 years. And at the time, I think they meant 15. And here they're saying 10 so I would say five. So technology is going to drive this stuff forward and there's not a whole lot that most people can do. Get your mind right. Get your body right. Get your heart right. You're going to need all three. Because uh, as Cypher says, Kansas is getting ready to go bye-bye. And we're going into the land of Oz really, really quickly. But this is just a side note. I'm sure that, um, hell, I know, most white people aren't going to even be hip to this. And so I know most black folks aren't going to even, this is not even on the radar. So with that, I'm going to make this short, probably short, it's probably one of the shortest videos I've ever made. I'm going to jump off here. This is BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.